this video I'm going to show you how to measure your total cholesterol level using the Easy Touch glucose and cholesterol monitor. To do this you'll need the monitor itself, a lancet, your lancing device pen and your vial of cholesterol test strips. Inside your vial you'll find a cholesterol test strip which is coloured blue and you'll also find a code key. First of all then, insert your code key into the back of your monitor. This should fit in in just one orientation. Push down and notice how the code key runs flat with the top of the monitor. When you're ready, at this point, wash your hands uh, in nice warm soapy water. That minimizes the chance of infection, but will also uh, make sure you have a good blood supply to your fingertips so that you get a good blood flow when you prick your finger. Taking a look at the test strip for cholesterol then, you will see that it has a barcode error at the bottom and a test strip error along the middle. And you'll see two arrows uh, from either side. So it doesn't matter with the cholesterol test strip which side you uh, allow the blood, your blood sample to soak through. And also on top is a guide to how much blood you will need. So it's very important that you supply enough blood and this is generally um, a bit more blood than is used for the glucose measurement. So make sure you've got a good, um, good drop of blood before uh, you, in, you soak it up on the test strip area. So insert your test strip into the monitor in the slot at the top. It will flash a number corresponding to the code key on the back and we'll display the blood drop symbol. When you're at this stage then, you're ready to go ahead and prick your finger. So again, make sure you've washed your hands, unscrew your lancet pen, insert your lancet fully, twist off the cap to expose the needle, and then re-screw on the top. Choose the depth setting that uh, corresponds to your skin depth. So callousy fingers need uh, thicker skin, needs four, five setting. Thinner, delicate fingers, one or two. Recommend starting at three in the middle if you're unsure. For me, I know that four is the best. And because I need a, a bit of a bigger blood sample, I'm gonna go to a setting of five. So to engage the pen, you're going to pull back and then hold that over a fingertip and you're going to press the middle button down and you will get the pin prick. So put your lancing pen to one side and allow your finger to bleed. So again, try not to squeeze too much. If you need to squeeze, do it from further down here. That will help ensure you get a good blood supply and once you've got a big drop grab your monitor now again it doesn't matter which side you introduce the sample from but you're going to soak up from the side so you're not placing the blood on the top you are applying the blood sample through the side of the test strip so there you can see the blood has gone fully across the white error and we've initiated the countdown now. So this will take about three minutes and we will just let that count down. Again, have a piece of cotton ball handy so that you can hold tight and stop the blood from flowing out your finger. Uh, come back in a few minutes and we'll see what my cholesterol level is. So you join us with about 10 seconds to spare on my cholesterol countdown and once you get your cholesterol measurement, mine showing here is 4.5, write that on your results card. Take out the test strip, that will turn off the monitor and discard the test strip. When you are discarding of your lancet, it's best to use the cap to just push down 
onto the needle and that just ensures that the needle doesn't cause you an injury when you take it out and that can be discarded. That's our cholesterol measured and the end of this video. Thanks for watching.